Hey there, I'm Jake Failing, and I have the unique pleasure today to bring together Movement Mortgage CEO Casey Crawford and Washington market leader Ryan Hills. How are you guys doing today? Rocket. Fantastic, man. Uh, we're, we've managed to put this together on opposite sides of the country. We got all kinds of technology here, and, and but we're making it happen. This is awesome. And, and you stopped short. Market leader, also professional bass fisherman, and Brazilian <laughs> jiu-jitsu brown belt. Yeah, there's a lot here. Knock you out, choke you out, and then catch a fish and cook you dinner. Right now. Ten years ago, but yeah. <laughs> Knock you out, choke you out. Is that? I feel like you can like shorten that for a license plate. And then this is going to confuse people thoroughly because you see Portland, Oregon in the background. Uh, but I think that's a good segue into the conversation. You know, Ryan was part of an acquisition that movement went through in early. 2019. Uh, we are recording this in early 2020, so we are one year into this thing. And so that's why we wanted to bring uh, both of you together. Ryan, you're obviously Wait, doing your thing. Is this our anniversary? It is. Is this like... Pretty close. I mean, it might be the actual day. Right. If you if you were back in your office, man, there's a big, there's a bunch of flowers and balloons and everything. You, you ended up in, in Oregon. So yeah, happy anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. But uh, Ryan is currently speaking in Portland, Oregon, because I mean, you want to talk about a guy who has built a following and a reputation. We knew that, right? When Eagle came to the table. Uh, and it's just been really fun to, I think you've taken uh, the movement brand uh, and really just put our resource and everything that you've done on steroids. It's been really fun to watch. I know you're speaking, get a lot of opportunities. So kudos to you, but I'm gonna quickly take myself out of the uh, equation here and let the two of you go back and forth. But first, speaking of anniversary, you know, this is the shirt, Casey, that you wore when you were on stage greeting Eagle for the first time. And I think that's where we'll start, right? Yeah. So Ryan, what was your impression when this guy got up on stage? There was a lot of unknown for you. You had um, heard a lot of things about movement and so on, but man, it was probably a scary time. It was a very scary time. Uh, Adam and I were just talking about that off camera. And when we met you guys on stage in Seattle, uh, we had just come from telling the whole group. So it was chaos that day. And th that was an amazing event. But the story of how we got there to me is really interesting and, and special uh, because usually mergers and acquisitions, you know, um, the people involved, you know, like Keisha and myself and Randy and Joe, the principals that were kind of uh, organized that that transaction don't get to choose like a home. Like usually, uh, and this is a credit to Lennar and Eagle, usually they might just say, hey, this is the best place for you guys. See you later type thing. Uh, and that's not how it went down. So right out of the gate, that was a, a special moment because they came to us and made us a part of that transaction. And that was that was special. That was different. And so I, I, I'm so thankful for them and their leadership through that uh, time frame. And then, you know, that started, hey, let's start looking for good homes for our people. And that, again, that's special. We, we got to go out and meet with uh, several good companies and meet with our C-suites and you know, you'll, it's such an amazing experience to go meet, you know, CFO, CIO, you know, CEO, and kind of see their value propositions. And so we, had, we were doing that for weeks. And again, a lot of good companies, but we didn't want to settle. You know, we knew we had a special group and, and we wanted to keep it together. And so we, we wanted to find like the perfect fit if we could. I know that's a high expectation, but we, we didn't want to settle. And so we wanted to find a great company. And when we first met, movement and Casey, you know, the C-suite comes in and first of all, everybody's tall and beautiful and <laughs> thank you. we're short and not that. And so it was like this fresh breath of air, like, holy smokes, who are these guys? You know, tons of energy, all young. I mean, you can see Casey and I on the camera right now. We're the same age. He looks about 10 years younger than I do though. <laughs> and and Hollywood Jake there with perfect hair. Amazing I mean, hair, isn't you know, it? Yeah. and then Thank then Stanger you. comes in, skinny Matthew Perry, and he's he's a uh, you know an amazing ops leader, <laughs> and it's like man, this is such a cool group of people. And immediately for me, like I was trying to play poker and not show how excited I was, and like this, I think this might be it. And I had been watching movement for a while. You know, I'd seen I'd seen the marketing. I knew that the, the culture was good. Um, I, I even saw you know a video with Casey two years ago, about two years ago when the industry was struggling and you know Casey was leading through a tough time. And I remember being in a hotel. I was actually speaking again in, in Portland here, and I was watching. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and I sent it to Keisha and Randy and Joe and Bill. And I'm like, man, this is. And we 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 weren't even thinking about going to movement at this time. This was well before that. Like this is really good leadership through a tough time, and that was 
really cool. So I had been watching movement for a while. And um, when we got to meet you guys, like the pedigree across the board was amazing. The, the culture was amazing. The only thing you don't know, it's like speed dating. Like what, what, what I experienced was like speed dating. You're like meeting with a bunch of C-suites and a bunch of companies. And so you kind of get a good feel, but you don't really get a good feel. But the, the one thing we had to take on, kind of like on faith, because you can see the culture, you can see the marketing. Jake, you have an amazing team, amazing marketing. The fulfillment strategy is one strategy is one you kind of have to take on faith because you don't really know until you're there. And so we knew we had a lot of volume for our small group and we vetted the 671 process, but you don't really know until you're there. And so for me, we dropped a lot of volume right out of the gate and that 671 process handled it all. I mean, our team had about 450 million in loans last year, 1300 families. With the rest of our group, it was well over a billion. And 671 held up for us the whole entire year. So like, man, we nailed it with culture and we nailed it with our purpose and our why and then the strategy. So it was a, it was a crazy experience to go through. And if I can look back and look at all the people that are on my team in the face and go, guys, I know for sure that we picked the best situation that we could during that time, then that means the most to me. And I genuinely believe that. And I mean, a year later, 45% of our my team had the best year ever that they've ever had. And, and our team's been together 10 and 15 years. So this isn't just like a, a, a goal or a, a record they broke that they've been in the business only a few years. It's, it's a long time, so it's a big deal. So I, I'm kind of curious though, that was kind of my first impression. <laughs> I usually give off the worst impressions. So yeah, I have to like, I have to like win people back. So what was your guys' first oh impression <laughs> when you, you like met me us? Yeah. Just like check yes or no, like put the box on? Well, it wasn't like right. you were doing a ton of M&A or that you've done a ton of M&A in the past. So let's go on the other side of this thing. Yeah, no, it, it's so cool to, to reflect back on on, on this last year. And, um, you know, with, 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 with you, Ryan, you're now considered not only a teammate, you know, a friend and somebody I like hanging out with, uh, but it was, it was, we hadn't done M&A. We had never done an acquisition in company history. It was not part of our DNA. And we were actually, we were actually dogmatic about it. We are not an M&A company. We would have said that we are not an M&A <laughs> company. And, and we had, I think we had really good reasons for it. And I think we were, those reasons, um, <laughs> they, 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 they proved to be wrong. So uh, you, you completely shift this. But what we used to say was, hey, we're not going to be an M&A company because when you're an M&A company, you're buying a whole group of people really against their will sometimes. And yeah. I don't know the, the quality of the character of the people we're getting. And we're so intentional and it matters so much to us that the community that we're building here. You know, people talk about companies. I mean, a, a, a company is nothing more than a community of the people it's made up of, right? And so yep. to us, the people that we invite into this community are so critically important. And we always want that to be a mutual decision. Never want to say, hey, you have to come with us because we paid some ransom for you right. to, to someone that you know, owns you, right? And you, we, bought, we bought you. We bought your companies. No, no, we want this to be a choice. And, uh, and that was, I think, the really beautiful and special element of this um, deal to us is that we had gotten to know a few of you um, and recruited, recruited a couple of you guys, and your reputations in the marketplace have preceded you. And as we got to meet the leaders, we got to meet Randy and Joe and Bill and Keisha and, and you, Ryan, um, I went, man. This is a really wonderful group of men and women, amazingly talented, fabulous success, and, and, and as or more importantly, had this kind of character and DNA that we wanted to be about. And that's when we got really excited and went, man, these are just the kind of men and women we would want to do life with. We would want to lock arms yeah. with and advance this mission that we're about together. And, I, and frankly, if you had asked me six months earlier, um, would you be able to find that in, a, in, a, in an acquisition? I'd have said no. I said no, and that was that was a um, uninformed, really perspective at the time. And you guys shifted because what we what I think I really learned um, over the course of this transaction is that um, great men and women attract other great men and yeah. women. And when you can find a great leader, and I will give you and Keisha a plug there, we found a great leader in Keisha, um, our regional director of the Pacific Northwest, and a great leader in you, Ryan, and a lot of your teammates. Man, you all have attracted and retained a lot of other incredibly talented men and women. And you've mentored them, you've developed them, and you've, you've really fostered an amazing team. And so um, we've learned that, man, when we can attract great leaders, man, those leaders attract other great folks. And it has been, man, it has been an incredible privilege and joy to, to start to work with you all. And yes, from our perspective, it was, it was a fantastic business um, deal as well, where we got to uh, welcome in some folks and help them have more professional success than they had had maybe in 10 or 15 years previous. And that is fun. Like we like doing this yeah. business as well. We wanna be about excellence. We wanna be about helping people reach all their professional goals and then some. And then to your point, which you kind of said before, we wanna 
invite them into a community that's about a lot more than just mortgages. And really talk about, man, doing life with one another and having lives of impact that, that are about more than just mortgages. And that's who you guys are. I mean, that's, that's who you are. That's who we are together. So, um, yeah, and, and you know, you, you, you've now shifted my perspective. So, so 12 years of dogmatic, uh, no M&A talk is, uh, is really over with, man. And we're, we're really excited, actually, to look for other great leaders like you because we know they surround themselves with great folks. Well, and I, I feel like I know why you've, you know, where you, you said, you know, we're not an M&A company because they're really difficult. I really have to give, looking back, so many people have to set aside their personal agenda and ego for these things to work. You know, Lennar does, Eagle does, you know, the, the principles involved, e any one of us could have, you know, try to set ourselves in front of the entire group and it probably would have tore the whole thing down. So the fact that so many high level people set aside their own agenda for the entire group is one of the reasons why this thing worked out. I know Garth, I knew Garth and Stratmore, Stratmore before they got involved. And so I was excited when they got involved and they're very good at what they do. And I talked to him after I was reflecting with him as well. And I was like, man, that went really, really well. And he's like, yes, it did. And I'm like, man, we should like do a video or write a paper like <laughs> M&A the blueprint because you know, interview you guys, you have to set your own personal agenda aside for the greater good. And that's uncommon, especially this day and age for so many people to go, hey, we're going to set aside what I want to do. Maybe I wanted to go do my own thing or, or Keisha or Randy or Joe or Lennar just wants to sell to the highest bidder type thing. That's special. And I, that's why most people don't want to be in M&As because that's t difficult. But that's, you know, the blueprint, right? You got to start there. And Man, you, you remember, it. I mean, challenges the day before things were closing, we we're still on the phone. I think it's blurry, but I felt like we were on the phone every day for like a month. Oh, and there sure. were still things that came up on the 20, you know, the last hour. And we worked through those, you know, again, just good people, high character, working through all those challenges. And then there's still challenges afterwards. But it's a testament to everybody involved uh, as far as their character is why it worked out. Man, I, I couldn't agree more. And you're, you're right. Every, every group in that transaction led with that. I, I told you when I met, I was so impressed with Lennar. We were not the high bidder. We were not the high bidder for the deal. And yep. their passion was that their people go to the right company, not that they go to the highest bidder. That's awesome. Public companies don't do that very much. Right. Right. Like that, I, man, I was impressed with them with that. And you all had the same perspective as like leaders of your, your group. You said, no, no, we want to vet and make sure it's the right fit. It wasn't, it wasn't just a dollars thing. It was a, Hey, that both of these things need to make sense together. And I remember being on a ski slope because, because we, 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 this transaction started December 18th. And I think we, we finished it like the first week in January. So it was like a full two I weeks. I was in with Whistler. Christmas, with Christmas Skiing and New as well. Whistler. Yeah, I was in, I was in Whistler with my the kids right the after time. Christmas. Yeah, snow's whipping. It's like two degrees. I take my glove off. And I remember going back and forth in this thing. And I remember Garth telling me, he said, hey, you know, as you pro forma this out, you should, you should plan on about 40% um, attrition. That, that's about how these things go. Like Interesting. you usually get about 60% of the originators. Yep. He's like, this one's so fast, frankly, and you're not going to be able to like do all the stuff we maybe normally do. It might be 50-50. You might lose half the originators. And, you know, wow. um, that, that's, he's like, that's kind of to be expected because of the speed and everything else that was associated. We were going to close a deal in two weeks to buy a billion dollar company, yeah. you know, from a publicly traded yeah. entity, right? Like had plenty of ingredients to go poorly. And, um, yep. you know, I, I think we ended up with 98% of the originators. I think we had yep. almost every single originator come with a transaction. And then, and then, yeah, the success that your team had together and that we were able to accomplish over the course of the year was, was astounding. I know um, Keisha told me like a, a, an overwhelming predominance of, of originators had their biggest months of their career um, within 90 days of joining the organization. The first the market, 90 days. market helps a ton with that, right? Interest rates tank, but man, through teamwork, help everyone have a lot of success. And of course, movement, you know, as a company was just having, you know, record, a record year also. So it, uh, but it did, man, you, you're right. It was all set up by like what we talk about a lot of like servant leadership, right? Putting others interest above mm -hmm. your own. And uh, man, every, every group there, I think tried to do that really well. All right. So let's put a bow on this thing. You know, we, we talk yeah. about the, the leading up to the right after, and then here we are at the very end, like, oh, you know, kumbaya, this is great. We're all, we're all in love. This is amazing. <laughs> but, you know, looking back, like, how has this changed both of your perspectives? One, as the leader of a company, uh, and as you look for other opportunities out there. And then for you, Ryan, you know, we're still growing the brand out in the Pacific Northwest. And so, you know, as you storytell and as you recruit, do you say, hey, you know, does the acquisition and the ease of the acquisition play into your story? Um, or do you just, just lean right into, um, hey, the movement brand, the movement's amazing, they can support you, all that. I'm just curious how you frame your story and for you, Casey, how you look forward. 
Yeah. Who wants to go first? You want you want to go first? Ryan, I want you to go close, first. Go ahead. Go out. ahead, Ryan. Yeah, it, it's definitely a part of the story because uh, I think it's an amazing story for all the reasons we just talked about. Uh, so it's definitely a part of the story. And again, it's important for pe for people to know that we chose each other. It wasn't a forced situation because I'll I'll run into people on the streets even today when we go to Oregon Mortgage Bankers. They'll go. Yeah, man, how's that going? I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm like, no, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. And then they're just like, wow, that's, that is unheard of. It is, and it's really, really cool. And a year later, we had record years, all of us. And so it's, it's just part of the story. And for me, man, it's, it's challenged me. That's why I loved you, know, you and Jake, and Casey, and everybody. I love Iron Sharpens Iron, so I'm always trying to push myself to be better. And you guys do that for me, so I appreciate that. And it's made me a better leader. And that was the hardest thing I've ever been through, honestly. That was so stressful because I, I empathized. I, t if I felt like I had everybody that was on my team, like all their weight on my shoulders. And my wife was like, man, I'm worried about you. And, and she you know, thinks I'm sometimes Iron Man. I just kind of push through stuff and never like slow down. But she's like, you need to go to the doctor during that time. And I, I did. And I, I hate the doctor. So I actually went and was like, hey, am I okay? <laughs> this is really stressful. And, he's, and he was like, yeah, you're actually okay. But it was the hardest thing, uh, but it, you know, it made me a better leader and movement's making me a better leader. And of course it's a part of the story and that's why I want to tell it. That's why I wanted to get together and kind of tell this story because if you're a group similar size and maybe you're a 400 million, $500 million group and, and maybe you're not at home yet and you're looking for a good home, you know, that's why I wanted to share my story. You can come and bring your, your group of people, your family, and that volume and feel good about it and be attached to the Movement Foundation in an amazing way with amazing people. And, you know, if you're an individual LO and you maybe just haven't found the right fit in home, I mean, I want to tell that story. Um, and, hey, you know, this is more for Casey, but if you're a billion, if you're a small company and M&As aren't a big deal right now, but we're not too far removed from the industry losing $200 per loan, you know, and that, that, that margin compression may come back someday. And, you know, if you're looking for a home for your small to mid-sized, you know, company, I would reach out to Casey again because of the story that we're telling right now. He just did can I, can I, you. Can I, can I do the Ryan Hills yeah. commercial now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Uh, well, look, I mean, and truly, that, that, that's why I think, man, you, you use the word, um, yeah, hey, this wasn't like a forced relationship. I don't want to say this wasn't an arranged marriage, right? This is like two, two, two groups that chose to be with one. And that, that's, that's the most beautiful kind of relationship. And that's the right kind. That's the healthy kind of relationship. And I think, man, I, I'd echo everything Ryan said. And I would just say, um, man, what, I, what gets me excited about welcoming people into this community is that they're going to get to do life and do business with men and women like you, Keisha, the rest of the leadership, and, and then so many leaders across the country for movement. And it is, we, we, you've stretched us. You know, Ryan, like you, you do, gosh, man, the, even with social media, the, the um, uh, TV show, like there, there's so much that you do so incredibly well. And we've tried to take that on and learn from you. And I think I told you that early on. I said, man, we can't wait to learn from me even doing this. When we collectively bring all our gifts, talents, strengths, and abilities to bear, when we put our own interests second, put others' interests first, man, it is amazing what can Special. be accomplished, right? I mean, it's that teamwork makes the dream work, man. And when you get together with a team of like-minded men and women who are gifted, who are talented, who are passionate about what they're doing, who have a big why, um, it becomes a lot of fun to watch what you can do. And, man, I always say the joy's in the journey, and the journey's made up of the people you're on it with. Yep. And so, man, I... I am thankful, man, that you came into my life a year ago, that, that the uh, entire group joined our community. It's been a lot of fun. And the cool thing to me is, like, this is just chapter one. Like, this right. is just chapter Isn't that crazy? one, man. And chapter I, I, one. Yeah, I cannot wait for, for like, these coming years uh, to just start to live out and see what we're able to uh, accomplish together. Yeah, and I'll just say from our perspective, Ryan, I mean, we say it all the time, is that you're helping raise the bar in the marketing department. And that's, that's the dream, right, is to give resources and coaching and support uh, to our sales team in the field so that they can feel free to express their personal brand. And I think you uh, do that better uh, as good as anybody. So um, thank you from the marketing team. <laughs> and some hate mail. You do it better than everyone. <laughs> Ryan, you are at least in the top 45% of sales leaders that do YouTube uh, TV shows. All right. Was that good enough? Was that, okay. I love all my loan officers and sales leaders equally, but equally. Ryan, you do a great job. And uh, we're just excited to be able to uh, spend a couple minutes with you to look back on the first birthday. Yeah, man. And, uh, yeah. And, and, and celebrate. Buddy. Exactly. Yeah. Celebrate what is a, a fast start to uh, year two.
Thanks guys, I appreciate it, man. It's been an amazing first year, better than I thought it could be, and uh, I can't wait for our second year. And again, man, I just, I love that you guys pushed me and I can't wait to see what next year brings. Awesome, great, thanks a lot, Ryan.